Hi everyone, this is going to be a pick a card reading for March 2019. So I'm going to have three groups and you can pick from group one, group two or group three. So this is going to be for group one. This is for group two and this is for group three. So you can pick from group one, group Group 1, Group 2 or Group 3 timestamps will be in the description section below so that you don't have to like manually find which group is which, you can just skip straight to that reading or you can watch the entire video if you would like to. So let's begin what to expect in March 2019, I'm going to be talking about love and career. So let's start with group number 1. So we have here... The Hanged Man, the Strength, Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. So I'm seeing you very, very strong within yourself, um, or at least trying to be very, very strong within yourself, really trying to learn and grow, um, essentially be the, the best version of yourself, and really taking in Neptune's energy with the Hanged Man, really trying to connect to your spiritual self, be at your highest vibration, um, and really just learn about astrology and perhaps even, um, you know, watching tarot videos and just trying to tap into your highest spiritual self. So I'm seeing that you're going to be very, very connected with yourself in March of 2019, which is very, very positive, a lot of growth that I can see. We also have here the strength card, so yeah, definitely embodying a lot of the Leo energy of strength, trying to, again, tap into yourself, be the best version of yourself, taming any, perhaps, fears that you have, which I think is very, very positive, um, and I see that March should bring a lot of peace to your side as well, especially with the hangman as well. You're going to have a lot more time to hopefully reflect on yourself and even meditate. We also have here the Ace of Wands. What I'm seeing here is that with Korea. Um, and also love, I'm seeing that there can be an opening. So someone might come in and offer you um, an olive branch, so some form of communication, some form of, you know, wanting to talk with you, that kind of a thing. Um, also within Korea, I'm seeing uh, you being offered some form of a reward. You may be offered a new job, you may be offered an interview, you may be offered a bonus. So something being offered to you in terms of Korea, something very, very positive. Um, and in terms of love, um, you could also be offered commitment. So it's a very, very positive um, month for you, but it also reflects on your energy as well. So if your energy is very closed um, and very down, then it can block these things coming in. But overall, I'm seeing it's very, very positive because I do see openings within love and openings within career. But I also see you really working on yourself and really growing and trying your very best, which is all that counts. So that is your message group one. Let's move on to group number two. That was a very positive, positive message. Group number two, we have the three of swords, we have the ace of cups, we have the king of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. Now you guys know that I shuffle my cards before I place them down, so there is no way that I tamper with them or anything like that, as you saw. So we have here the Three of Swords. This can indicate some form of hurt that you have in the past since it is the first card that is laid down here. It's all about healing from that and I think that in March of 2019 there are going to be some beautiful advanced um, movements that come towards you um, that are essentially going to make you very, very happy and it's going to all make sense. Essentially this Three of Swords is here because the three cards here, they're all going to make sense. These three messages are all going to make sense in March of 2019. March is also the third month of the year. But essentially what I'm seeing is that this heartbreak was kind of crucial in order for you to understand the beauty of what's going to come next. And I know that sounds terrible, but whatever you went through in the past, yes, it hurts. Yes, it probably still does hurt. But I am seeing that you're able to move forward and something beautiful will come through. Now, I'm seeing in terms of um, career, things are going to be doing very, very well for you. And the reason I'm seeing that is because the 10 indicates not only financial stability and a nice sort of um, family life, but it also indicates love as well. So it indicates um, both of those aspects should be doing quite well. You should be stable. So that is a very positive, positive, positive uh, card. 
We also have here the Knight of Pentacles. Again, um, you could be offered something. It can be very slow though, so it can still take a bit of time for you to get exactly what, what you want because the Knight of Pentacles is quite slow. But again, offering commitment could be offering a new job, um, something along the lines of being offered something, but something very stable. But again, it can take time. These things take time, but they are worth it. So I'm also seeing here the Ace of Cups. So someone can be um, offering you, I feel like someone's going to be emotionally open to you. Um, so I'm seeing that. You also may be emotionally being open to someone else and it leads to something perhaps because I'm seeing that emotions here are very, very important um, and opening. So you may open up about your past hurts, you may be opening up about you know who you are as a person to somebody else and this really can be an absolutely wonderful thing I'm seeing. So um, essentially this is a very, very sort of positive read from perhaps your past hurts because it's all coming around and it's all working it towards you and your favour. Remember that this is always a work in progress, it's not going to be perfect but it is going to be to a point where it should be stable or it's beginning to be stable. So essentially the message coming in for March 2019 is that um, career and love, um, there may be openings coming up in love but also your career should be quite stable um, and if you want to perhaps switch jobs or something this is a great time to do so. So that is your message for number two. Let's move on to group number three. So for group number three, we have here the six of wands, we have justice, we have the nine of swords and the king of wands. So essentially what I'm seeing here for what you can expect in March 2019 in terms of love and also career, I'm seeing that there will be some form of a very strong figure in your life, can be a boss, can be um, someone that you are with. Um, this person is um, going to cause you some kind of a hurt, some kind of overthinking, grief perhaps. Um, it's going to be a lot of baggage to sort of handle. Um, essentially, you may find yourself perhaps wanting to leave a work environment or even a relationship. I feel like this could even be both for some of you, um, where it just gets too much to handle. It's just too much. I feel for some of you that this is just going to be so much. It's going to keep you awake. It's going to give you anxiety. It's going to build it into baggage. It's just going to be so much that you guys want to leave. And so I see here the Justice card. The Justice is ruled by Libra. It's all about balance. This person is just too much. It's too much of one thing and not enough of another. So it's not balanced. So the Justice card here with Libra and the scales is that you want everything to be quite balanced and you have that sword to cut someone out. Now I do feel like if you are going to leave a job or you're going to leave a certain person, it is going to lead to victory and success because I do feel like this is too much and you're trusting your gut and this is going to resonate with very few people but I do feel like it is a very positive thing to perhaps leave this person in the past and move forward because it's not right for you and you will know it resonates with you if you feel this in your heart and you just know that it's not right for you. But the Justice card here really does indicate that it can be very, very positive for you to essentially move on from this particular um, career or even love um, in this particular aspect because it's not going to be serving you your highest good. It already isn't serving you your highest good if this is the energy that you're in. You should be feeling like this, definitely not like this. So the Six of, um, the six of Wands really does indicate moving forward and progressing in victory and success. And right now you're in this energy of just hurt, baggage, sadness, too much, anxiety, you know, and that's not good, keeping you up awake at night. So that is your message, group number three. So those are your messages for love, for what to expect in March 2019, Korea and also love. If you guys enjoyed this particular video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to for more readings, um, more videos, sorry. And also comment down below if this resonated with you and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye!